My whole life, I'd been a one-handed bowler. Three years ago, I went two-handed. Some people call it trouble. I like to embrace that trouble. Introducing the DVA Troublemaker, the first ball ever designed for two-handed no-thumb players. Look at that. Come on! All right, DVA Troublemaker, super excited for this one. I'm two-handed, so I have to be excited about this one. Obviously, no thumb hole. Starting with the benchmark shape, uh, the zone two layout, you can see the pin to center of grip distance is much shorter, going to give me that benchmark shape out of box, maintaining the same numbers. That's what we're talking about when we're talking about the different zones that you can draw in. So the ball was designed for the two-handers, which we've already talked about, but it's supposed to be benchmark shape in my bag, middle of the road ball, balls that I like, and the fact that especially for two-handers, makes it even better. So you can see overall smooth shape going down the lane, bowling on the fresh house shot right now, and that's exactly what we want to see out of a benchmark ball, solid cover stock, smooth, predictable motion, and for the two-handers, we love that. Now I'm going to the second one that I drilled. Um, this one was the zone three layout. The zone three layout is supposed to be much stronger than zone one or zone two, increasing the overall differential. What does that mean? Basically, it's gonna hook more. I'm gonna go five left, yes, five, and see the difference from the zone two one. Oh my God, way right. I'm not gonna count that one, bad rack. Um, so we're just gonna redo it, we're gonna run it back. That was much better. So that was five for the left, and you can see how much different that one was compared to the zone two layout. So essentially, what do I mean by the different zones? So the different zones are basically how far away the pin is from the center of grip. The zone two layouts are basically gonna be the ones in the middle. The zone one layouts are gonna be closer, the zone three layouts are gonna be further away. The further away the pin is from the center of grip, the more differential the ball's gonna have, which means the more hook it's gonna have. The closer it is, the lower the diff is gonna be, the less overall hook it's gonna have. And if you want the benchmark shape, just go with zone two. That's what it's there for. I'm gonna go three more left. So now this is a total of eight left off of zone two. Oh boy. All right, so maybe eight was too much. We're gonna try one more time, slowing the speed down a little bit, seeing if we can get it to make the turn up the hill. So that one was slower and a little bit more at the friction and definitely made the turn that I was hoping it to make the first time. Glad it did it that time. That one was really good. All right, back to the zone two ball, the weaker one. I'm gonna stand in the same spot that I just threw the last one from and try and repeat the same shot and see the difference of the ball motion going down the lane. So you can see that one went much straighter, didn't want to pick up near as much, and there's definitely a clear difference between the two. So one of the neat things that you can do with this ball, and you can really see it right now with the oil rings, is how much you can make a bowling ball flare. So as you can see on the zone two ball, the flare rings are much closer together, not a whole lot of flare, the very smooth rolling bowling ball. But when you look at this one, you can see the flare rings are much further apart. What does this mean? More overall diff. What does overall diff mean? More hook. So the last shot was with the zone two ball, the weaker one, the one two and a half inches from the pin to center of grip. I'm gonna go five back right, three left of the original spot. So that one was definitely much further at the friction, but I also moved five further right. I'm gonna go two back and try not to get it to fly off the friction, like the last one did. Come on! Where's the messenger? I'm supposed to get it every time. It's fine. It's fine. I will send one before the end of the video. I will do it. So I think one of the neat things that you can do with this ball is because of the way that you can drill it, you can make them better for different patterns. If you drill a ball in zone one, decreasing the differential and decreasing the overall hook, you can make it better for a shorter pattern. If you drill a ball in zone three, increasing the differential, make it better for a longer pattern. 
You can see pretty far away, pin to center of grip. It's gonna be better for the longer patterns. Or like I said, if you wanna go closer, like zone two, better for a shorter pattern. Or you can see this one a little bit closer, but not super close. This would probably be the one that I would use on the medium pattern, where this one I could use on a long pattern and the exact same ball, just drilled differently, which I don't think a lot of bowling balls you can typically do that with. But I think because of the way that the core was designed with this one, you can definitely do that. See it? God, I haven't bowled in like a week. I've been kind of busy, but no excuses. No excuses. So you know what we say to that? Just throw it better. That one was out the window. This one's not going. Look at that. All you had to do was throw it good. No excuses. So fun fact, when they were doing the testing for this ball, I actually tested this ball back in October. And I'm gonna say, they've made quite some drastic improvements. Because when I tested it, it was not very good. I like what I'm seeing a lot better now than I did in October. So I'm gonna go back to the stronger one. I think for the higher speed players, you're gonna like the stronger layouts in zone three, like the one I'm throwing right now. You can see very far away from the center of grip. Speed dominant players are gonna like this one a lot more, where I think the rev dominant players are gonna like more of the zone one layouts. So talk to your pro shop operator about that. He or she is gonna make the best guess for you. But I use Buddy's Pro Shop, so you should too. Buddy's Pro Shop. Dot com. Come on! Yes! I told you it was coming! I told you! That was a little dramatic. But it's fine. We can be dramatic as we want. See, if you just stay patient, general tip of the day, if you just stay patient, good things will happen. I stayed patient. I sent the sick messenger. Oh! Oh! Come on! It's two in a row! Who would have thought if I just stayed patient, I'd have two of them in a row? Just complaining about not getting it earlier. So typically, I wouldn't really talk about bowling balls being, let me say, having multiple in my bag at the same time when I'm looking at a five or six ball arsenal. But I feel like with the versatility of the core of the Troublemaker, I'm able to do that a little bit more easily and make that a little bit more confidently, I'm gonna say. If I wanted to have a zone one and a zone three ball in the same five ball bag, I feel like I could pretty easily and know that I'm gonna have two balls that are gonna be very different and do very different things, which is exciting and promising to see. All right, wrapping it up, two shots, two different troublemakers. They're both gonna strike and I'm gonna be done. One down, one to go. Stronger one now, going five left. Troublemaker, available April 20th, buddiesproshop.com. Get one, get five, it doesn't matter. They're all gonna be good. We'll see you next time, peace.